<laughs> well, if we can just keep that part up, that would make it a lot easier. Hi. My name is Diane Griffin. Um, I'm in real estate here in Grand Rapids, and I'm excited to be here. I'm really excited that the lights are bright and I cannot see any of you, <laughs> so that's good. I'll just go with that. Um, I'm excited because I was asked to be a part of this event and because I love to present I was like oh yeah I'll do that and then I realized exactly what it was and thought what the heck <laughs> I, maybe I shouldn't have done that I like to present on uh, successes and helping people build teams and businesses and lives and um, I don't really do any presenting on failing so um, this is a new one and it sent me on a journey that I wasn't expecting and I'm really excited to have been on the journey now. It's been three or four months that I've been preparing and thinking about failures. And like most people and other people have mentioned, um, there are lots of them. So choosing which one is difficult. And I was at a class and they talked about the family and time and whatnot. And um, the question was, how do you spell love? You know, so we all think. And then the answer was T-I-M-E. And it really hit me, and I thought, hmm. Yeah, I fail at that for sure. And as I explored it, I realized that there was a really common thread of failure at love having to do with time in my life. So I thought, well, let's pick something light. Let's talk about failing at love. So I'll, <laughs> I'll just go for it, why not? Uh, so, I, so I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm the oldest of two, um, and we lived on a small farm, and, and in my family, you spelled love W-O-R-K, and, and we did, and we all worked very hard, and if you were ever to succeed, or ever to be recognized, or ever to feel love, it was through success, through hard work. Um, Occasionally, you would feel love by receiving a gift. So love came from hard work and arrived in the way of gifts. And as I grew up, I thought, well, this is ridiculous. You know, this is not how love is supposed to be. And I will not repeat this. Well, I've, you know, what you focus on expands, so I've been repeating it over and over and over. It's like driving and you don't, don't hit the pothole, don't hit the pothole, you, you hit the pothole. It's like, what? I just, I was like, why am I doing this? So I've, so I've been really, really good at failing at this. And, and I look at some of the um, experiences and realize that when I was leaving for college, I, my dad hugged me and said, I love you. And that was the first time that I can recall ever hearing those words. It was always a proof of love through excess work through not being around because you were so busy succeeding. And when I graduated from college, my grandparents showed up at graduation with the words of, well, we don't think we'll ever see anybody else graduate, so we thought we should be here. <laughs> it was true, nobody else graduated. Um, so success meant love in that way also. So this repeated over and over and then it you enter into adult time I did and and I proceeded to fail repeatedly with relationships because I always was proving myself and my love through being successful through working hard through being busy through accomplishing uh, winning awards whatever it was and everybody I was with wanted time well, that, I didn't have that. I had these things, and this was plenty, because this, this is what you do. This is how I learned. And it was, um, it, it, that kept repeating, uh, plenty. We don't have to go into that. So then the next thing, um, so I, I have two girls. They're 10 and 13. And when I got into the real estate business, I was a single mom, and they were infants, uh, infant and a toddler. And I worked very hard to prove my love to them um, by working, working really hard, being really successful, um, which meant I wasn't there. And I was doing what I've been practicing for years and doing really well with um, 
building businesses and um, not really well with spending time. So I, uh, like we, uh, we should do or do, seek counsel. <laughs> so I went to counseling and um, learned to take time off. I learned um, how to, I had to promise to take 15 minutes off per day. Albeit at this time I was sleeping no more than four hours a night, no more than two hours at a time. I was working, which meant I was providing love for my family. And I learned how to take 15 minutes off. I learned how to take a half hour off. Finally, I learned how to take a whole day off. It was amazing. And yeah, it's true. And so now I'm better at taking time off, uh, which is good. I still am not good at giving time. And I explore what that is. Is it, um, what am I afraid of? What, why am I afraid to give time? Am I afraid that somebody will learn something about me that they shouldn't know? Am I afraid they're going to ask me a question that I don't have the answer to? Maybe I'll be embarrassed of what I think or what I say or how I act. I don't know the answers. Um, that's an ongoing exploration. It's a, it's a big challenge. I've spent a lot of my time in business learning to leverage. And quite frankly, I have tried to leverage love. And that doesn't work. That's the ultimate failure, <laughs> to try to leverage your love. So that has come up again, and it continues to be a big um, piece of life. It continues to be an ongoing challenge. You know, I'm, I'm, really, I'm just not proud of it. I'm proud of so many things that I've done, and I'm proud of my kids, and I'm proud of clients, and I'm proud of my team, and my businesses, and my partners, but not figuring out a way to genuinely express love to the people who are important to you is, um, it's painful, and it's embarrassing. And I thought, what better way to identify and acknowledge and um, grasp it than to share it with 600 people? Like, yeah, <laughs> I'll just take that and make something better happen. Um, so the journey is ongoing. And the failure is real, and the embarrassment is huge, and I feel that taking the time to express that in a way that is a dichotomy about how, who you are and how you're perceived in public is an important one. So at the end of the day, my failure is not knowing how to spell love. <laughs>